All right, we're back to Hans County, Nova Scotia for part two of our Abandoned Mines Bonanza two-part series. This was, of course, our tour across northern Hans County where we went to a variety of smaller abandoned mine sites, each of which wouldn't warrant an episode on its own. So we ended up mashing them up here into a two-part episode uh, to visit all four sites. The first two, of course, were covered in the last episode, episode 25. So if you haven't seen the previous part, you can go back, episode 25, you're certainly welcome. If not, and you're ready to go, let's uh, get started here on the final two sites here on the Hans County Abandoned Mine Bonanza. Okay, we're stopped at the uh, Grace United Church in Walton and uh, Brown's Tunnel, the next added on our little trek here, is behind the church here on the, uh, the riverbank. So we're gonna head back there. Still going. Okay, we have uh, we have found it right here on the uh, on the shore. What do you see? Uh, a car rim. A car rim. Yeah, this one isn't uh, this one isn't very big. Brown's tunnel. Okay, we're heading in. Let's go. It is small. <laughs> it's not that it's uh, only 70, 80 feet long. It's the fact that it is very, very small, very, very tight. So Miner Brown cut this in here all by hand, it looks like. And it is small. There's the, uh, there's the tire rim that he saw earlier. Okay, there's the, uh, the end here. Where he decided to stop, old Miner Brown. Looks like, uh, there's a distinct, uh, you know, blue rock up top, brown at the bottom, like there's a, it's almost like a tide line, like the, the water went this high in here maybe? Is it that that it's dirty or just two different minerals? I wonder. Really shows up well on the video. It's like literally two-tone. Yeah, you can. Okay, here near the end, we're uh, noticing a, a seam's been removed. It goes way in there too. Also here at the end, there's some uh, distinct nest building. Looks like a, maybe a duck waddled in here and uh, set up a little underground nest. Nothing here now though, but what a good place to protect it to lay eggs and stuff. Okay, so here's sitting at the end, looking back out of uh, Brown's tunnel, and he's heading back towards the shore. Beautiful little adit here. Okay, we're back out. Heading back to the vehicles, and we'll be on to our next destination. Okay, next up is Peddler's Tunnel, which is a small abandoned mine at it, found at the far western end of the old Tenecape manganese mine zone way back in the forest just outside of uh, Tenecape, Nova Scotia. Now before we get to the adit, there are some very interesting features here on the old mine site, all well overgrown now, um, but these two open cuts are still very visible, even from space on Google Earth, 
These were uh, pits or open cuts where they were taking out ore and then they decided to drive shafts down to uh, get even more access. Now of course both of these open cuts which are right side by side at the eastern end of the uh, the Tenicate mine, um, they are ponded right now, they're, they're flooded, uh, which means that these uh, shafts that are in the ground going straight down are filled to the top with water. Now you can of course look into the water, it's a little bit swampy at times but uh, you can clearly see the, the shafts, there's at least one in each open cut uh, both the, the one to the left and the one to the right. They're both, both open cuts are right next to each other. Of course, we've got the drone up in the air to show you from a better vantage point um, the, real, the real beauty of these open pits um, and the little bit of a spookiness of those shafts going down into the abyss underneath the water. So you don't want to go wading into the water here and, and, and fall down. Wade in the water! But, uh, you know, if you could swim or tread water, I think you could get yourself out. Uh, better, of course, than it just being open air and you falling down to your death. Yeah, that's what you find in these two uh, open cuts. Um, still well preserved, of course, by the water. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Peddler's Tunnel is actually named after a, uh, a murder. <laughs> and, you know, we might as well delve into a little bit of this lore quite quickly, but... Um, there was a 16-year-old uh, peddler, a little fellow who sold stuff uh, town to town, um, in 1902, who was uh, bludgeoned to death for his watch. Um, his name was Lion Lundor, and he was actually um, a Syrian. Uh, he was from the Middle East, and he was just passing through the Tenicate village, and uh, he was um, killed by a, 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 another peddler who was passing through the area, and his body ended up being hidden in this uh, in this mine and it ended up becoming called Peddler's Tunnel forevermore after that uh, based on the the murder of this young 16 year old uh, uh, town to town uh, salesman. So let's leave this area and start heading west and see if we can locate this uh, this Peddler's Tunnel abandoned at it. Okay we found Peddler's Tunnel and uh, it's just past the um, the workings we saw there earlier. We have our uh, nice DNR signs, and it's uh, pretty pretty bushy, bushed in up in here. But we'll go up and have a look at the mouth. Okay, here we are at the uh, Peddler's Tunnel opening, and there is a large mound in front of the uh, the mouth. So that's just the top of the arch there. And unfortunately, we've discovered it's quite a belly crawl, maybe 20 plus feet to get in. Yeah, he, uh, he's already been in to scout it and says it does end in there fairly quickly. So it's not a long one, maybe what, 40 feet? Uh, yeah, 40, 50 feet. You cannot stand up. Okay. The, uh, so where we are here, we got a little bit of a, a slant down. Right. Um, it's still pretty tight though. So about eight feet of, of pretty tightness. Um, and then it opens up, but you can't uh, you can't um, stand up in it. It's a uh, it's all mud floor. And uh, wow, yeah, she's that's pretty, tight. She's pretty gnarly, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh, we've crawled down through the hole. Uh, the rig just uh, made it through, and that's the hole that we came through. Uh, so it's just a solo explore today. I apologize. Uh, for the uh, the film, uh, it's a quite a muddy uh, spot. I cannot stand up here, uh, so it's going to be kind of a, a crawling on my knees kind of thing uh, as we go through. So it's only about 50 feet tops. We can see the end uh, right from where I am. So uh, let's go. <sighs> I'm groaning. <sighs> Okay, so uh, here we are about halfway uh, down. Uh, we got a little bit more ways to go. It is, uh, you cannot stand up here. It's only maybe about four feet tall. Uh, it's uh, all a muddy floor. So let's, uh, let's get at the end of this one. Gonna try to give you a bit better uh, of some footage here. So let's go and see what we can do. Okay, so we are, I am actually standing up. Uh, it's a complete muddy floor. 
It's making lots of weird noises, but that is the uh, end of, uh, of this tunnel. So we're going to turn around. There you go. You can kind of see the light. And we'll kind of go towards the light that's uh, on our way back out. Uh, there's very little poop. Uh, there's some, but not as much as the others. Um, so animals do come in here, but not very many. Uh, so uh, back down to non-walking conditions now. So uh, we'll, uh, we're going to hand this camera out uh, to the outside guys. Uh, the rig just about fits in here. Uh, so do I. So uh, let's uh, let's head out. It is uh, still filming here, guys, I think. Yeah, I don't know what is. this looks like. Yeah, it is. But anyways, I'm pushing the uh, camera rig up backwards because uh, it can barely fit. We're just dragging it out. Now, I should add here at the end that it did get late in the day here. This was the last stop on our uh, tour of Hans County, visiting here in the, the Tenny Cape manganese mine site. Uh, there was one last opening that we couldn't get to, although it is there, and that is, of course, uh, just uh, north of the Peddler's Tunnel. There is uh, an open incline shaft that we will visit on a future trip and bring it to you probably as an episode in itself, because we have to do rope work to get down into it. But we won't show it to you now, but just letting you know it is here and you will see it soon enough. That's it for this episode. Two-part series, Hans County Abandoned Mine Bonanza. See you next time. Bye-bye.